Miss Milena with the Highland Park Public Library and welcome to Library in Your Living Room. Today's program is all about making magic, but before I tell you what supplies you'll need and how to make the magic, I want to show you an example. So here is a plain ordinary rain cloud, but what would you say if I could turn this plain ordinary rain cloud into something super colorful and interesting? Here's our plain ordinary rain cloud and I'm just going to dip it into the water I have here. And there we go. It's a rainbow with the sun. Yay. So let me tell you how you can do this. So first, you're going to need to find a tray or a baking dish or something like this and fill it halfway with water. You can ask your grown-up for help on finding this item. Then you'll need markers. I have my trusty Sharpies, but you can surely use any markers that you can find in your house. Anything will work, even washable markers. Then you'll want to get some paper towels. So many paper towels come in big squares and some, like these, just separate right down the middle into a rectangle, which is great. But if you have paper towels that don't separate into smaller pieces like this, you can always cut a larger paper towel down the middle and make your own rectangle. Once you have cut your paper towel or separated it, you're going to fold it in half like a card. And then on the top part, you're going to draw something ordinary. So let's see. I think because our trees are just starting to get buds now, but many trees still look like winter trees, I will draw a plain tree. So let me see if I have a brown Sharpie here. No, oh, I don't, but we'll use a, a gold one. So I'm gonna draw a tree trunk and some branches on the top part of my paper towel. And here is my basic tree outline. But as you saw earlier, when this goes in the water, we need it to turn into something different and more exciting, right? So how about we make a summer tree full in bloom with maybe apples on it, something super colorful. So to do that, you're going to open your paper towel and on the very inside, you're going to mimic your outline on the outside. So that's the first step. That's why you need to have your outside be rather simple so it's easy to recreate. And you can always reference it if you are not sure what you did, like I'm doing now. So I'm just drawing my branches. Let's see here. And so my inside tree looks somewhat mostly like my outside tree. But now we're going to make this tree super bright and colorful. So the first step is going to be to add a lot of big green leaves all over the tree. Let's do that. And then I'm going to color it in, give it a little greenery. And then I also think I'll color in my trunk. And like I mentioned earlier, I'd like to make this an apple tree. So I'm going to find my red marker and draw a few nice apples on here. And maybe it might be kind of nice to draw, say, a bluebird sitting on top of the tree on one of the branches. So I'm going to try and draw a little bird. just to give it a little bit of fun. Okay, so there's my bird. It's rather large sitting in front of the tree. So remember, right now it just looks like a plain tree, but when we put it in the water, we end up with our nice summer tree. So this is a super fun project. You can be creative, do whatever you like. Just remember on the outside, make it kind of plain. And then on the inside, go to town, making it colorful, exciting, and interesting. You could do this over and over. Um, the possibilities are endless. 
So thank you so much for joining me. And if you liked this program, you can look for more programs and activities at our website, hplibrary.org. Thank you so much. Bye.